Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building. Migos! You did? Yeah. Qua yeah. Quavo that already way. don't like none of my questions. <laughs> How do you say? You can't ask no better questions than that? I had the computer up. Oh, that's all. I had the computer up. You had it. I heard something about him being a quarterback. No, but this, this is this from the intern. But, oh. you know, but a lot of people may not know he was the quarterback, a quarterback in high school. He don't like talking about Breakfast it. Breakfast Club in 70 markets, 180 about, countries. I don't mind talking about it, but we talked about it so much, I just feel like my, right. my boy Charlamagne should know a little bit more and should have some more information about the Migos. Well, I, I, right. I think you know what I think. But, but first of all, let me tell y'all congratulations. Modern day questions. Let me tell y'all congratulations <laughs> on all y'all success. Thank you. Because y'all really came up from the, the, the hoods of Atlanta and now y'all on stuff like Jimmy Kimmel getting Thank shout you. outs at Golden Globes. Thank you. So I like you. to see yeah. hood yeah. is making. And this is the yeah. first time we had all three of you in the studio together. So this is also great. Thank almost did they Almost did Almost did Almost did I think take off. Had a, you guys had a long night, huh? I ain't never did the S3. No, no, you called one time when you was locked up. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm in this one. It felt like he was here. Yeah, yeah. I'm here now. Yeah. <laughs> now, how does it feel, you know what, when we seen you last, the Migos was, was on fire. I think a lot of people didn't believe. And I, I think they thought that your steam was going to die down. And then you came with Bad and Bougie. No, and before they had more than that before no, no, Bad no, and Bougie. No, but before, they, they, people thought they were dying down and they weren't the same. But I thought they thought it was going to be like a, a one album kind of group and that was it. But you guys just keep going. Yeah. Yeah, we know how to make them hits, man. We know how to put that together. We and, told y'all. Yeah. Got to be in, you're not on it. You know what I'm saying? You did. I said that from the beginning. If you Even if you wanted to not like the Migos, you really can't. You said it from the beginning, I'm gonna go look. Look, no, I did because I was actually the first one that booked you guys to come up here. And they were like, they only have one song. And I was like, nah, the Migos is really big and people really like them in Atlanta and their songs be popping. You don't want to kill the rumor that about you and Offset? What? First of all, the rumor that you started. How did that rumor start? The rumor just... was that <laughs> Angela and Offset were dating. Charlamagne would just say, <laughs> Angela... we seen y'all in, in the city. Because I have a boyfriend, store. and Charlamagne would always, and they'd be like, who's Angela's boyfriend? He'd be like, Offset from Offset the Migos. Offset from the Migos. But he would just <laughs> say that, and I don't know why. And then I met him the other day, and I was like, I'm sorry about the rumors. I don't know why he says that. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 what was it, the Bushimi thing? There, yeah. there you go, Offset. There you go. Yeah. You bought it something? You spent the bag on it? No. I just had to run up on it real quick, see what's going on, how you doing, see what's going on. Okay. Well, yeah, I, no, I, I had to rumors. apologize because you don't know what somebody's situation and you just throwing out rumors. I ain't and no people He said, I ain't got no situation. <laughs> <laughs> now, one of the illest things I saw y'all do was when, when, when uh, uh, Offset was locked up. Y'all said y'all used to put money away. For offset, when y'all do a show, y'all take his third and just put it away. Yeah, I come home loaded. Ooh, <laughs> that way every time. A lot of yeah. people wouldn't do that. That's how you know the, it's, it's a lot of loyalty in the group. A lot of people yeah. ain't real, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of people ain't got no um no um home team, no solid foundation. I ain't got nothing to worry about. I ain't well then now I won't feel like I had nothing to worry about. But you guys are all related to each other, like in real life. Yes. Okay, so Quavo is wait Quavo um, is Takeoff's uncle. Is that yeah. really true? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That How'd that happen? You guys are cousins? Yeah. What you mean? What a talent. Y'all look like y'all the same age. You better add my mama or something. Have my mama. Let me have it happen. <laughs> take off. You had no choice but to get rich. Your last name, Ball, for real? Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever yeah. want to use that as your rap name? Nah. Nah. So what are these family reunions like? When you guys have like a family reunion, being that you guys are all really, do y'all have it's, family? It, 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 for us, it's, it, our immediate family so deep. Mm -hmm. That's we just do like the holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, because it's, it's a lot of us between us three. Mm -hmm. You know how I go with the immediate family. We really don't do the family reunions like that. I'm sure y'all be running into relatives all the time. Like you know, my cousin take off and. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody yeah. little lady. Everybody now, little lady. Now, how, how much did the price go up after Donald Glover hit, <laughs> shot y'all out at the Golden Globe? <laughs> About 150 percent. But that song was headed to number one already anyway. Did yeah, it was it? number two on the chart before right. it went number one. And mm -hmm. um, it was already on the way. When y'all recorded but that song, did y'all know? Did y'all have any idea? Knew it. Knew it immediately. Knew when, that I, was it. when he brought it, when I said brought it to me and played it, we was on the road. Fire. And he played it on the, on the Sprinter. And as soon as I played it, I played it about like five, six times. It was just his hook and the verse. And I had to come back home and get on the ASAP because it was too crazy. Now, were you in a drop top and it started raining or something off that? <laughs> like, I, nah, I was at the house. I was just recording. Just, and I heard that beat. See that that part when I do the woo woo. When I do that part, I, I said that because when I was about to record my verse, when I heard the when I when when the beat dropped, 
I didn't know what to say. That was just came out like originally, and I was like, ooh, I paused it. I was like, man, this beat so hard. But then when I played it back and I heard it, I said, oh, no, I'm finna keep that. So, yeah. Why'd y'all put Uzi on it? Uh, it just, that particular one? It just happened. We was at the Yo, and um, he had asked me the first time I played it for him, and I had it. I had the session that times with my engineer. He was like, man, I'm getting on this. Uzi heard that. He knew what it was. He, he was like, I'm getting on this. Because yeah. you, right you on not on it, right? Take off? Nah, I ain't on it. Why you, how you, why you missed it? Hey, man, you know. We be working, man. That's, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Be busy, man. Absolutely. <laughs> you, you still get the check, though. Hey, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got something coming, though. Surprise. Mm -hmm. So the man. album is about to come out. I know you guys are busy running around all crazy. So who's the one that's always late? Shit. Shit, we might just pull a little late. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, I can't. We, I don't put it on nobody. Because if I'm late, we all got to wait. If he late, we all got to wait. We all pull up late. So it is what it is. When we pull up, but when we pull up, we in the building. You now, did. Look, now the name of the album is Culture. Culture Why way. Is culture. Yeah. Cause we need we need the world to respect us. Um, they 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 consume a lot of hits and just act like it wasn't. I I ain't never seen nobody make these many hits and not get notified for it and and change the game the way we did and bring the flow to the game the way we did and not get you know what I'm saying noticed for it like the big way you get what I'm saying mm -hmm. like the real system way so I feel like us coming out saying the culture it it just made everybody look and be like man what these young <laughs> talking about and then at the same time we write but then you know what I'm saying it's some it's some boldness on it so I feel like we can just we we just stand on our toes and mm -hmm. we the culture we brought somewhere to the game. I That's think I think one reason y'all don't get the recognition is because y'all a group though. You got respect. And they ain't a though. group in a minute. But you gotta you gotta, you gotta understand all the hip hop came from groups. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists came out of groups, so you can't. Which which again, like how how can people get lost on just a solo artist? And then when when you're a solo artist, you got a whole team behind you anyway. So it should be some recognition when you're a solo artist. Period. Now, it ain't, I, I, it I ain't just like you just doing your I, own thing. I think that a lot of the people didn't respect it at first. They 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 considered it. They didn't consider it that. What, what am I, the word I'm looking for? They considered it not mumble rap, but yeah, like they don't, that, that, that real hip hop. That's shit. Real, that real hip hop. hop. Y'all get that a lot. I think it's not saying, real. I think they were saying the mumbling because the flow was so advanced. They really weren't with it. They understand. So when we first came, I don't think we ever got caught up in the mumble rap though. Yeah. Ain't nobody. I ain't. I ain't. I don't think nobody ever said Migos was a mumble rapper. Cause you can really hear everything we're saying. Mm -hmm. Dead serious. No, that's true. Cause I don't try to use one of your words on Scrabble. What, what word? The, the, discriminize. <laughs> yeah. How'd discriminize. You spell it? How'd you spell it? D e s c r i m i n i z e. Spell it anyway. It would be d i s. Well, I tried it. <laughs> discriminize. Anyway, so. And y'all did y'all did a, a children's reading. Yeah. What made y'all do that? Was that That was a radio interview. Oh, that was a radio Lama, interview. Lama. Okay, I heard that. I was like, was that a children's book that they really did? No, yeah. Lama's was a gun now. Nothing. My kids will learn better like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, ain't a Lama just, a gun? Just cut, just cut on that um, Bad and Bougie beat and read that, that nursery rhyme book. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's an actual book? Yeah, it's yeah, called Lama, Lama, Red Pajama. Yeah. Now, Lama, to be Lama. on the show at Atlanta, were you guys already cool with Donald Glover? Yeah, uh, he reached out to us to to, uh, to get on the show. We thought it was a great idea. Mm -hmm. Let's do it, and we did. We killed it. Yeah, that we. By the way, that show is incredible. I'm sure y'all been watching all of those. Oh yeah, episodes. I watched all the episodes. It's crazy. Does that mean more acting coming up soon? On the way. Most yeah. definitely. Got to. I like it. <laughs> y'all holding a coaching class at NYU this weekend? I heard. Yeah, man. Yeah, we got to put them up on the Migo lingo. Put them up on game. So what's some of these things going on in this syllabus in this class? Because I was just reading about Solange, and she's trying to do a syllabus for a course on a seat at the table. So what is the Migos teaching? Like, what are some of the things that we're going to learn if we were students in this class at NYU? You know what I'm saying? We're going to teach you how to cook. Whip, whip. <laughs> cook what? You know what I'm saying? We're going to teach you how to pick up the phone. <laughs> and and, and we, we're going to always teach bougie. you to never go outside. Never. Yeah. And the ladies <laughs> in the class going to stay bad and bougie. And the fellas gonna be hustlers. Does it ever surprise you that people all over the world have embraced y'all culture? Three dudes from Atlanta. I seen y'all in Nigeria rocking. Oh yeah, it feel it's good. Blessing. It feel good. It feel real good. I I think that we can adapt to any weather. So you just put us put us anywhere, we'll come out victorious. Especially because the South used to get hated on so much everywhere outside of the South. Most hey, definitely better though, cause when you prove they can't say nothing. We number one, dog. Right now, what's happening? What you got to say? Numbers don't lie. 
Now, you yeah. keeping out of trouble, Offset? Yeah, I'm staying up out of that trouble. Do you, do you have like a chaperone, somebody just to be like, all right, Offset, no, don't focused. jump off the stage and punch the person? No, I'm just focused. You know, I was young and I I, I can't I ain't had no discipline coming out of jail. So I still was on a lot of the wrong path. You feel what I'm saying? I was getting a lot of paper. I ain't never. I'm good now, though. Discipline. I'm straight. Cool. Cool. I want to ask you, with your, your records being so big in the strip clubs, right? And they book you for a strip club. Y'all got to spend your own money? Because Fat Joe used to hate working in the strip club because he'd have to spend his own money when Megan Rand came out. So, like last night, y'all was in the strip club. Y'all got to spend the money y'all making or y'all just say, nah, I ain't spending no money? Because now the strippers look at you crazy if you don't spend no money. You first, we, we, you charge mm -hmm. the bag, then you throw the bag. It's just a player thing to do. We, we we just show them, the you money. Gotta, gotta show the strippers love. Mm -hmm. So whatever you get, yeah. you get bag, you get paid, you throw They working it. just like y'all working, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They gotta yeah. get paid too. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I saw you guys at the Agenda Trade Show the other day. Me and Envy were in there doing uh, Juices for Life. Got their own clothing line. Yeah, we saw the um, clothing line, and it was a big commotion when you guys all walked in. Yeah, man, Young Rich Nation, the clothing line. Yeah, so that how, way. How is it when y'all go places like to the mall and everything? Is it not possible anymore? Nah, it's just... We walk through the mall, we'd be like 100 deep, a whole bunch of people we behind us. We're on, we're on trip. It's it just like, it, it's fun. We we feel like it's fun. I, sometimes I go to the mall just to f it up for real. <laughs> hey, did you did you sign the good music, Quavo? No. Nah. It was a rumor that Kanye was going to executive produce your solo album or something like that. No. Nah, I wish that, that could happen. He could produce my second album, but it's cool. <laughs> he ain't doing that. Oh. Is everybody doing solo albums? We working. We now that this album's you. out, are we working on solo albums? Hey, man, we, we got this culture, culture album. Shit. Just dropped. <laughs> That's what you we know, culture. Right now. We'll get that, we'll make that go number one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, last time Drama was here, Quavo, I saw you tweeting at him. You had some words for him. Yeah, man, I just had to let him know, man, we the culture. You can't speak on Spend it without it. having the Migos in it. So I think he mentioned Atlanta and how Atlanta's popping. Yeah. But he mentioned a lot of artists, he ain't say the Migos. Yeah, yeah. and that, that's, that's one of the main parts about this album too that I mean the title of this album it was just too much going on it's like too many people going crazy and it was just too many heads spinning like we had to control I feel like we we coming in this we coming in the era right now we coming in the game and in the time to control what we started and control the culture now how do you how do you stay out of the way of of, of, of beef cause, cause Soldier Boy has some words for you that okay. Stack and pray and stay out of the way. We getting a real we bad did. man. We ain't hurting over there. I think did he apologize again and then say Man, I can't keep up with that. Boy. I, was, I was confused. We just be hurting, man. We ain't hurting anyway. We good. We get money for real. And we're gonna keep getting it. Having this shit for real, man. Now how y'all gonna return the favor to Donald Glover? Y'all sent him anything? Oh yeah, we we trying to we, we working on our own movie, man. We gotta get my boy to star in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys are really doing a movie? Yeah. Is yeah. it a movie based on reality or is it a scripted completely? It gotta be based. I, I like the reality film mm -hmm. to show you the other side that you didn't, what you didn't see, what you didn't know about about us. Like the new the edition? Did y'all watch New Edition? No, I ain't seen it. Yet. Yeah, it look. It, I, I seen the commercial thing a little hard. I ain't seen it though. If you guys, so when you do a movie, where does the movie start? On the north side. <laughs> no, we sir. started. You did. Yeah. And who was the first one that initiated, like, yo, we should form a group? I feel like it just kind of just in stone. It's just just evolved. Stone. Like, I feel like we were just getting on each other's songs. It wasn't even no, I feel like it wasn't even no group because we all just brothers and, and we all just used to throw up Migo. So it was just a, a family thing at first. But when we just started dropping music, we just couldn't resist on hopping on each other's songs. Mm -hmm. I did it evolve from the Polo Club to the Migos. Um, and just we grew up. Yeah. When the polos, yeah, polos, polos ran out of style. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 polos in the Levi's and the truth. So and the shit, it was like, it was over. Okay, it's time to get right. That's why the, something why very true. The you can't brand though. yourself as something that could potentially go out of style later. No, definitely. Exactly. No, you can't. Because no, when people think Migos, they think Mexican. So why Migos? <laughs> because on the north yeah. side, that's what that's what. That's what it is out there. You got a lot of Migos who run the world, who run the, our our system and run enough. You know what I mean? Straight up. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That way. Mm -hmm. Well, the album is out right. Well, when does it come out? The album's out now. Tomorrow. The tomorrow. album's out today. Tomorrow. Well, tomorrow. Today. Tomorrow. Today. 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 Album's out right now. Make sure you pick it up. It's called Culture. That way. You dig? Go yeah. get it.
it's going it's, number one. It's the Migos. I saw the um, snippet of Kelly Price online too. And I was, because the first thing I thought when I saw that, I was like, a song about Kelly Price, what could this be about? Why did y'all make, choose Kelly Price? We're going to make you sing like Kelly Price. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. We're going to make girls sing like Kelly Price. Because there's a lot of Price. people you could have said. Make you sing like Kelly, Kelly Price. Price. Was yeah. yeah, that's what, that's, that's. Make you sing like Kelly Price, baby. Sing like Kelly Price. <laughs> yeah, you need. Some high notes, you did. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club, it's Migos. <laughs>